Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. We are in the grace right now. But that grace, that's supposed to teach us something. Right. So what is what is grace? I just I, I want to hear what you, hear what you, you know, think about grace. Say about grace. Think about grace. Think about grace. Think about grace. Think about grace. Let's get it from the scripture. You know what I want, Titus too. Titus chapter 2 verse 11. Look it out. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation. So the topic is grace. We're talking about grace right now. Hath appeared to all men. Well, that all men is not talking about the whole world. It's only talking about these people right here that you see on this sign, the black Hispanics and Native Americans. Right. That's right. Because repentance is not for everybody. It's only for the children of Israel. Right. That's right. But listen to what, to what grace is supposed to do for us. Teaching us. So I said earlier, grace is supposed to teach us something. The Bible just said that. Read that part again. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. So we're supposed to deny ungodliness while we're under grace. Break it out. Because... You go in the store and buy, and you go in the store and buy. The Lord might not kill you right then, but it could be tomorrow. Bring it, Bring it out. It could be when you're walking out of the store and in in, in a car hit you. Bring it up. Your grace is ran out. You got to use. I use this example right here. You have a cell phone bill, right? And you can't pay the bill right then. But you ask them for. You call me, say, well, can you give me a little grace, a little time? Grace is that time to get yourself together. Right. You you get time to pay the cell phone bill. A certain uh, you, you get a free, you know a little bit more time to pay it. It just means you have more time to a little bit more time to, but you still got to pay the bill, right? Right. So that's what God is telling us. That's what grace is teaching us. So the church is telling us we're under grace. We're under grace. Yes, we're under grace. But grace is supposed to teach us something. And teaching it, us uh -huh. that denying ungodliness. And worldly lust, uh -huh. we should live soberly. Because we're not supposed to walk around here drunk. A lot of our, a lot of our men today, we're, we're, we're drunk at eight o'clock in the morning. Right. Women too. Women too. You, if you go, if we go down the street right now, I bet you we're gonna find a drunk somewhere. Right. We're not supposed to do that according to the Bible, according to the scripture. But when you ask the question, you know about God. Oh, I already know what you're talking about. I know that already. Well, why are you not doing it? Right. I heard you say something earlier about earlier about following Christ. Give me First Corinthians uh, 11, verse one. Because if we follow Christ, we got to keep the commandments. Because don't you think Christ kept the commandments? That's what he did. And the disciples that follow him, they did that as well. Right. So if Christ is our example, we must keep the commandments as well. That's right. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Bring it out. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. So this is what Paul said. Paul said, be ye followers of me, as I am of Christ. Paul kept the commandments. Paul knew who he was. He knew that he was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. Do you know what tribe you're from? This, what do you see the shepherd on this sign right here? Oh, yeah, because this is how how you you God identifies us. On the right side is is what God called us, and the left side is what we learn we, what we learn here in America. But I guess what the American thing because you know what I'm saying, the United States. But right. So what is your father? How would your father identify himself? Would he be American black? Would he be from the West Indies? From the islands? I guess he was born in Georgia. Okay, he was born in Georgia, so he would be considered uh, American black. This man right here, bring it out, huh? He's from that same tribe. This man right here, Jesus Christ. He would look like this right here. Right. He was lining up with the scripture. Right. This image right here lines up with the scripture. 
So these people here took this image away. So now we don't know what, we don't, we don't have a king anymore. Right. We don't have a leader to guide us. Bring it out. Man. But that's why the, the, most, the, God, the most high God, he's, he's waking up the prophet. These men you see right here, he's waking us up to give the understanding of, the, of what the word means. That's right. 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 To Bring it up. really give you the sense of what it means. To tell you that grace, yeah, we under grace. But we gotta do something. We, we just can't continue to live how we living like we don't have no laws. Right. We're living like the lawless nation. Right. So you have have your church ever said, "Come as you are." Like all the people, come as you are. That's what they that's what they normally say. Well, I think they do because I know they do because how a lot of the women dress. Bring it out. Well, you come, You just said it, sister. The way they dress. Why are you gonna come in God's house looking like? A and prostitute. I, I hope I'm not judging, but I know they can dress better than that. But that's what we need. We have to judge. Straight hair, makeup. That's what we're not doing, sister. We're not judging. We're not judging each other. We're not holding each other accountable. But let me show you why you can't come as you are. Give me First Corinthians 6 and 9. This is why we can't come as we are. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Bring it out. Know ye not. That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now you just said the way that our sister dressed today. They shouldn't come in the Lord's house like that. That's unrighteous. Right. Bring it up. The Bible says a woman must be, must wear a modest apparel. Right. That's not sometimes. That's all the time. That's right. Right. Read. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters. So these are sexual sins. We're not supposed to sleep outside of our marriage. We're not supposed to sleep with people before we get married. Right. This is what the Bible says. This is how we're gonna build our nation. But for some reason, our people don't, they, they, it's not clicking in their head. We keep going to the church under this image right here, thinking that we loving God, but this is not his son. Right. This is his son. His son, if, if Christ is from the tribe of Judah, just like you, where did this image come from? Bring it out. Brainwash. Exactly. Right. So we're trying to wake our people up to the knowledge of the Bible. That's we're right. trying to give them the understanding that they are the greatest people on the face of the earth. Right. Bring it up. Right. Yeah. To me, black women, we get worse. We get worse. But you want to know why we get? You want to know why that? Because the man is not in order. Bring it up. When the men get in order, that's when our sisters right. going to get in order. Right. <laughs> because who are you following? You're not following another sister. You follow them what the man doing. Right. The man's supposed to set his house in order. Right. What's the one that's to do your own? You're going to see my pastor in your church? No. So, Rock 14. So, is your pastor a woman or a man? A man. Okay, I'll, I'll pray. But you are going to church. But yeah, because what are you learning like in the church? Brothers around here seem like they're content no matter how fat and sisters get and all that stuff. I, I just can't. They don't know, the, they don't know the, the laws of God. Their, their mind is sick. That's what we have to understand. We, our people, we're sick. Right. We're sick people. And we don't want to take the medicine. This is the medicine. This is how it, it's going to get us right. Yeah. Watch this, sis. Watch this. Second Ezra, Second Ezra, chapter 14, verse 34. Right Therefore, if so be, that ye will subdue your own understanding. So we got to subdue our own understanding. The stuff that we learn here in America, we got to forget about that. Right. Because it's keeping our mind in the, locked in a state that we don't we don't know who we are, we don't care. We we just living like there's no there's no hope. Right. But the, the Bible is our hope. Read. And reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. So we have to reform our heart, meaning our mind. Right. We gotta change our mind. Because God gave us perfect laws to keep. But we say, no, the laws are done away with. Yeah. Well, why is there still sin? Why are we still sin? Do you know what sin is? According to the Bible? You know what sin is? It's an abomination. It's an abomination, yes. <laughs> well, let's get the Bible scripture, the biblical scripture of what sin is. Bring it out. This is what we fall short of. We don't know what sin is. Let's bring it out. First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. So the Bible says, whosoever committed sin transgressed the law. That means they're breaking the law. Read. For sin 
is the transgression of the law. So the transgression of the law means you're breaking the law. So how do you get the kingdom of heaven? Bring it out. How do you, how do, how do, how do you get the kingdom of heaven? Bring how do you think? How do you think? I believe from this Okay. Okay, that's a good start. But you got to know how to repent as well. Bring it out. It's not saying, uh, right. what they call it in the Christian church, the sinner's prayer. Yeah. Ain't nothing changed in there. You, you, we're not changing because we're not we're not getting the right uh, the right medicine. That's not the medicine we need. Right. We need scriptures. We need scriptures. We need the understanding of the of the Bible. Let's get the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 19 verse 16. Right and behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So that was a man came and asked Christ. He asked him, What should I do to get the kingdom of heaven? What can I do, Lord? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Christ said to the man, Why are you calling me good? Read. There is none good but one. He said there is none good but one. He was referring to the Father. Christ and God is not the same person. Right, right. That's two different images. Or that's, that's two different people. Right. Read. That is God. But if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. So we have to keep the commandments of God. Right. right. There's no, there's, there's the only way out. In there's no in between. Right, there's no in between. We have to keep the commandments of God. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.